Hey everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, uh, your 25th of October, I believe. Uh, yeah, the 25th. Uh, please keep in mind, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the 25th of October, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. Um, also keep in mind that this is, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. <clears throat> so let's have a little bit of story time before we get into the reading today. Um, I did take... Obviously, as you can tell, I took a week off from morning coffee um, and I had planned on, well, it, I, I, I got to Monday of last week and I was like, you know what, I, I really just need to not do this right now. Um, <clears throat> I needed to take some time away and I know I had been saying that for a while and I know you guys remember me saying maybe like a month or two ago that I wanted to take a break from, or I needed to take a break from morning coffee and I planned on taking a week, but <laughs> that lasted only a few days. Um, and so this time I was like, no, I really need to do this. Uh, and so I did um, and I focused on just doing the weekly readings, which was good. Um, I didn't want to completely disappear. I don't like the idea of completely disappearing. I mean, I know you guys, I don't know. I mean, I, not to like toot my own horn or anything, but like I know a lot of you guys really pay attention and rely on the readings that people like myself do here. Um, and me being the person that I am, I don't want to let anybody down. I don't want to abandon anybody. I don't want anybody to feel like they've been abandoned. Um, but as many of you know, you know, there are times where you just have to take some time for yourself. So I did. Um, but also the thing that's been going through my head lately is that, um, you know, I'm, as you know, I'm trying to make a change to the channel and I'm trying to readjust things and trying to get into the right flow. Um, and the biggest problem, I wouldn't, I guess it's not that much of a problem, but the biggest question in my mind is how do I balance Patreon with YouTube? Um, and part of my thought has been, you know, if anybody should be getting a, a daily reading, it's people that, you know, support me on, on monthly <laughs> on um, Patreon. YouTube is free. And I've, I, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I've been having trouble balancing the energies for YouTube. Um, it just, it just, it feels like it's become disproportionate. The amount of energy I expend to provide to people here in this way on YouTube is feels like it's not proportionate to how much I receive. And I'm not saying that I don't understand or I don't feel or I don't see those of you that do support me and send, you know, love and light and support here on YouTube. It just something just doesn't feel proportionate. That's all. And I'm trying to balance that out. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, so part of me, I'm, I'm just gonna keep it real, y'all. Part of me wants to take daily readings over to Patreon um, and just continue doing like the weeklies that I do here and some other things that I do here um, and leave that on YouTube. Um, uh, it, and 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 I, I, mean, I just I really feel like I need to show more support to those that are supporting me on a monthly basis. Like, you know, they're, you know, and, and, and I'm not even trying to say this to get people to um, follow me over on Patreon. If you want to follow me on Patreon, then please go by, by all means do so. But I would rather that you did it because you actually truly want to do it, not because someone is guilting you into doing it. You know what I mean? And so I'm not really sharing this thought process to guilt anybody into doing something that they don't necessarily want to do, but I'm just trying to tell you where I'm at. Um, so I, I, I do want to continue doing morning coffee. I love morning coffee. I know you guys love morning coffee and I'm here for you guys. Basically, that's pretty much how it is. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. So anyway, I needed to take that week from morning coffee to to chill and relax and recuperate and gain more and en regain my energy. Um, the last four months have been <laughs> extremely draining on me. Um, I, I mean, I love being here in Puerto Rico, but it has been such 
a change. Like, y'all don't, y'all, y'all, when I say I left my comfort zone, man, I took that comfort zone and I threw it. I threw it so so deep into the trash, man, <laughs> that there's no way I can get it back. And and ideal, that, that, that's ideal, you know, but it's been very draining. So I've needed to take some time to reconnect and, and rest. And I do feel a lot more connected now than I have in a while. Um, and I guess you guys can see that in the weekly readings that I've been doing, but so that's where I'm at right now. Um, I, I, I haven't, I haven't quite decided exactly what I want to do. I know I do want to start doing daily readings on Patreon. That's that's a, ne a necessity. Um, and I'm thinking I'm probably still going to keep morning coffee here. I just don't think it's going to be as frequent as usual. Like, I don't think it's going to be every day. I think I'm just going to keep put, take it to when the feeling is right. But don't quote me on that. Because if you've been following me over the last year, you know I've been saying a lot of different things that I've wanted to do that haven't necessarily worked out. And I'm not a flake. Obviously, you guys can see that. Like, I'm, I'm not a flake. It's just that um, sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Such is life, right? Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. Um, and yeah, let's get into this. Um, you'll have to bear with me. I'm pretty tired. I, <laughs> my friend had a party yesterday, last night, which was awesome. But, you know, it was a nice little get together of all our friends here in Puerto Rico um, of this really, uh, this like this really awesome group that I've be been able to connect with. And, you know, we had a great time last night and I got home really, really late. And <laughs> I didn't get up until like quarter to eight. Yikes. So please bear with me. I'm a little slow today, but I do want to do this reading for us. So why don't we get started? Yeah, here we go. Hi, spirit. <laughs> please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, October 25th. 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Is it the 25th, you guys? I'm so sorry. I forgot to check. I think it actually might be the 26th. Whatever. You see, time is an illusion. Like, fuck it. Fuck time. All right? Just fuck it all. <laughs> I don't know. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I'm I'm, I'm tired. Okay. Uh, so let's do this here. Five shuffles. <laughs> One. Two. Who knows what day it is? Oh my God, Eric, stop freaking out about it. This is three. <laughs> Um, energies have been crazy lately, you guys. Like, it's been so incredibly heavy and so incredibly dense. Like, ugh, this is four. I mean, I've been going through it. I can only imagine what you guys may be going through. And this is five. I mean, I understand that, you know, I kind of lead the, I'm leading the way for a lot of people here in terms of, like, the energies and ascension and all that stuff. But, like, if I'm going through it, man, someone that really kind of understands energy a little bit more than maybe the average person i can only imagine what everyone else is dealing with so i'm here for you guys um, we're in this we are all in this together yes all right let's see what we've got for your day okay so far, oh boy, we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. We have the king of pentacles that's popped out. Someone is showing up here. Somebody's showing up. Somebody is making themselves known. Nine of pentacles and strength. Somebody is single. Somebody that you may have thought was in a relationship is actually single. 
um, someone's trying to be very, very strong. Somebody loves you. You have the lovers here. You also have the magician underneath the lovers. You've got the king of swords underneath that. And you've got the wheel of fortune. Oh, wow. With the page of pentacles. Oh, my God. And the ace of cups. Um, so somebody here is in the process of starting a new cycle, is manifesting a relationship with you. I don't know who I'm talking to, but this is what I'm feeling. They may have tried to make it seem like they're with somebody, but it's not. that's not really the case. They only have eyes for you. They have feelings for you. They're grounded. They're secure. They want to be a husband. They want to be a father. They want to be a spouse. Someone is trying to be very, very strong. Very, very strong. And this feels like it's something that they're not used to. And that's probably why they may have tried to make it seem like they're with somebody else. Because the level of commitment that I'm feeling here is something out of the ordinary for them. Even though they may have been with somebody for a long time in the past, you know, even if they've had like a, a, a long-term relationship in the past or something like that, it's not as serious as this is. This is very, very serious. I want to get a little bit more here. Eight of Wands. Uh, Eight of Wands to the Empress and the Queen of Cups. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, some. Oh, wow. Uh, you are the Empress. You are the Queen of Cups. Um, unless you are the masculine here that's watching this. If you're the masculine here, then you're most likely this King of Pentacles. But if you're the feminine here that's watching, and normally most of my, my viewers here are feminine in nature, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But... Um, you are the Empress and the Queen of Cups. Someone, excuse me, someone recognizes your empathy. Someone recognizes your unconditional love, your care. Um, they see, they see who you are as an Empress, as a divine feminine, as someone who is very loving, very caring, very nurturing, the, 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 the mother to their children, the wife to their husband, even though it wasn't the Queen of Pentacles. However, the Queen of Pentacles can be seen in the Empress. Uh, and also with the Eight of Wands that showed itself, it's like someone really, I feel like someone is moving very quickly or the energies are moving very quickly, even though you don't perceive it as such, um, because you know we're caught in this illusion of time and space, so um, it seems like it's moving slower than it actually is, but it's not. It's moving very quickly. Let's get a little bit more here. The energies are coming together. You don't have to worry about this. We have the Four of Swords, the Four of Cups, and Judgment. This is the past. So, um, and then the Ten of Wands. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. So in the past, there was a sense of rejection. Four of Cups. Somebody really had to think about that. If you have left somebody behind at some point, walked away from this connection, it really caused this person to think and to wake up. Judgment. It's, it caused this person to recognize the burdens that they're carrying and to go within. Ten of Wands to the Knight of... Uh, I'm sorry. To Ten of Wands to the Hermit and then to the Knight of Cups to decide what it is they truly want in life. You left an imprint on this person whomever I'm speaking to, you left an imprint on this person and they really thought about it and they really classified what it was that has meaning to them. They went within and started to really understand themselves fully or, or, or more than they have in the past. And it caused them to want to come forward and make some sort of offer here. I don't know if they've actually made that offer yet, but you being in that alignment, Queen of Wands, is causing them to want to come forward. Uh, okay, so with that said, let's get a little bit more information. I just heard El Futuro. So in the future, what's coming forward in the future then? Temperance, coming together, balance, harmony. Patience is necessary. But in integration, there's... Mm, oh wow, the Nine of Cups. We do have the Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck, the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so someone really wants to take this slow. What we What's coming forward in the future here is integration, is harmony, is balance, is 
wish fulfillment, nine of cups with temperance. Right now, right now, um, someone is going through the pain of heart, of some sort of heartbreak. I, I, and I really kind of want to say the pain of losing you is what they're dealing with what they have been dealing with. Five of Cups to the Three of Swords, but then see the Ace of Swords, it made them, it made this person recognize, realize who you truly are to them. And now they wanna move forward, Knight of Pentacles. See, there you go. And then there's the King of Wands. To the Queen of Pentacles, there it is. There it is with the Six of Wands, y'all. And the, oh my God, and the Four of Wands. This is marriage. This is a wow. This is happiness. This is this is a life together. I'm hearing a long life together. A very long life together. Wow. Wow, guys. All right. Um let's get some clarification here. We're going to go to the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Strength and the Lovers. Um, and I just, I, I want to I get some information on this person. Now, y'all know I'm not a fortune teller. <laughs> I'm not a fortune teller. I'm an oracle. And you know that I'm not the type of reader that's wanting, like, digging, that's wanting to dig into someone else's mind. Um, I'm not trying to spy on anybody. But it feels appropriate in this situation to get a little bit more of an understanding of what this person is going through here. And we're only going to look at in terms of how your energies are connecting with them. So we're just look, I'm not I'm not trying to dive into their mind or 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 pick their brain or anything like that. I'm just looking to read the energies between the two of you. OK, five shuffles. One. Two. Oop. Let's try that again. Two. Three. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, I'm not doing the weekly readings this week because I'm going to be working on the love readings for Patreon, and I've decided that I'm going to use the schedule that I've picked up for the weekly readings um, for the love readings for Patreon. So. Uh, I am planning on this is four. I'm planning on doing uh, some collective love readings for YouTube, um, but by individual sign, you'll find you'll be able to find that on Patreon. Yes. Okay. And this is four. Right. This is four. Or what's that? Whatever. One last shuffle. <laughs> this is five ish <laughs> okay um let's look into this here the king of pentacles the lovers the nine of pentacles the nine the the strength card you do have the moon at the bottom of the deck so far everything is not what it seems right now so what's this person feeling in terms of this connection this relationship Somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants to settle down. Someone wants to be a husband, a lover. Somebody wants a wife. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. The, king, the queen of pentacles with the three of cups in reverse. Somebody really wants to put some sort of third party relationship to an end. Good Lord. Uh, eight of cups is at the bottom of the deck. Um... What this is kind of saying here is somebody is recognizing their queen. You have the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles now, I told you. Somebody wants to get married. Somebody wants to have a life together. Somebody wants to settle down. Somebody wants to be a good husband and father is what I'm hearing. They're leaving some sort of... <laughs> I just heard social distancing. Um, and obviously we're in this whole pandemic situation. So like, okay, but uh, somebody wants to leave their old social setting behind three of cups in reverse to the queen of pentacles because this, and, and the eight of cups, because this person has found their counterpart. This person has found someone that they are truly in love with, someone that they can settle down with. And they don't need, they don't, it's like, it's an energy of they don't need the party any longer. They don't need, they don't, they, they don't even need the opinions of others any longer is kind of what I'm hearing and feeling. Let's get a little bit more here, please. 
with this King of Pentacles, the devil. That's interesting because when I saw the moon earlier, I did hear the devil as well. With the King of Swords and the, and the Magician. Wow, and the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a new start, is an offer, uh, a material offer. Somebody sees clearly their attachments. This person, this King of Pentacles, sees their attachments very clearly and is manifesting their way out of it. Recognizes the, um, <laughs> I just heard adulting. Yeah, somebody's adulting here. Somebody's really growing up, showing up, Wanting to be a true divine masculine is what I'm hearing. To your divine feminine. Okay. That's beautiful. Um, okay. Uh, but someone is, is, is... Someone is manifesting their way out of toxic devilish energy. King of Swords. They see it very clearly. They know what they want to do now to the magician. They see it very clear. All right. Spirit is asking me to do one more shuffle on this person, this King of Pentacles. And then I want to talk about your energies in terms of this. So I'm actually going to pull out another deck for that. The After Tarot? Okay, cool. Um, one more person, one more pull on this person here. So. What I want to do in with this pull here is I'm asking this person, what message do you have for, what message do you have for your Queen of Pentacles? What message does this King of Pentacles have for his Queen of Pentacles at this time? The Ace of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse. If they're with somebody right now, this person is not it. Queen of Wands in reverse, Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, Judgment, Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Uh, bear with me. I just want to make sure that I'm getting this message correctly. Seven of Cups, Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse. This person is telling you that they love you. They're telling you that there was a moment where you got out of alignment and you said you didn't want them anymore. And that confused them. But they're saying also that you are carrying too many burdens here. You don't have to worry about this so much. This is if there are some sort of issues or problems going on between the two of you or just some like some baggage or something. I kind of feel like they're saying they're the one that needs to be able to figure this out. Handle this for you, for us, for the union is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing that this or feeling that this individual, this Queen of Wands in reverse if they're with somebody right now, they're not the true queen. They're not the true divine feminine. And they're going through some issues right now with letting, releasing burdens. They're releasing, they're releasing burdens that have to do with other individuals, not the true de depiction of their queen of pentacles. Other feminines or other women that just don't add up. They're releasing this. They're literally actively releasing this right now. And they're letting you know that. I hear they only have eyes for you. Ace of Cups. Judgment. And they're being called to this. They're being called to their true soulmate. And they're working diligently 
to get there, all right? Don't worry about the conflict, Five of Swords to the Four of Swords. Just leave that in behind, Eight of Cups, okay? Whew. All right, um, I wanna get into your energy now in terms of this situation. Please know that they love you, Ace of Cups. So, you being the Queen of Pentacles, I want to get some information on that for you, on where you stand in this relationship, in this situation. Yeah? Five shuffles, one. You know, I love this deck. Thank you so much, Allie, for sending it. But the cards are flimsy. Like, they're literally already bent, too. <laughs> and I can't stand that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm kind of rough on my cards, but this, these two decks right here, I've had these for the longest time, and I've used them so consistently, and they're still strong. They're not bent like this. I can't, I just can't stand it when, they, when this happens. <laughs> Don't mind me, this is three. <laughs> oh boy. This is four. And this is five. All right. So you being the queen of pentacles, where do you stand here? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Oh, good Lord. At the bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. All right, so you guys are mirroring each other a little bit here, but you do have the Four of Cups. Why are you pouring out this offer? Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Um, plus the Seven of Swords. It, you're rejecting this offer right now because of your past because of what it is that you've learned. Maybe it's because of what you experienced with this person, okay? But it also is very much has to do with what you've experienced in the past in general. That may have recreated itself in, to a certain extent with this person. But with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like you're lying to yourself. You have the World, the King of Swords, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Pentacles. You have to understand that this person wants to marry you. I, I really, honestly, you guys, I don't even know who I'm talking to right now, but this is what I'm feeling. Someone is very clear on who their soulmate is, who their partner is, su pareja. You need to understand that. 777, seven, seven. Um, seven, of, seven of pentacles, seven of wands, seven of swords. I feel like no matter what, all the things that you've been through in the past are going to pay off for you, okay? And I do feel like you are in this four of cups energy right now, like saying, nah, I, fuck this. I'm better off alone. But that's not really what you want, is it? I mean, you're good on your own, but you don't want to be on your own forever, right? Let's talk a little bit more about this Four of Cups energy then. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Wands. Six of Swords, yeah. And the hanged man. Look, you've gone through a lot. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. You've gone through a lot. Whomever this reading is for, you have gone through a lot. And the reason why you're in this Four of Cups energy is because you are waiting, you are maintaining your alignment to something that's more reciprocal. And even though you have this energy of fighting it off and kind of lying to yourself about what it is you truly, I really do feel like you love this person too. You really do. 
and you would really love to be with them. But it's the past that is holding you back, that is causing you to pour this cup of love out, that's causing you to be distant, that's causing you to maybe even ghost. Because you're trying to move forward. And I will say that you moving forward this way is actually bringing this situation towards you. I mean, I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but like it sounds like it doesn't make sense, but it actually is. Yeah, see? The hanged man with the wheel of fortune and there's the queen of pentacles again. Queen of pentacles to the magician, to the, oh my God, you guys, to the ace, to the king of pentacles. You are manifesting this. You are literally manifesting this. I almost kind of want to say, keep doing what it is you're doing. But if you get a chance to show love or appreciation to this person, I think it's time that you should let them in and start changing the way you see them, if you see them in some sort of negative light or changing the way you feel uh, about the situation. Uh, mainly I'm hearing change the way you approach the situation because you are the queen to their king. And I feel it, I can feel it. Like I can feel it for you. The love between the two of you is. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so um, I want to get some oracle cards here. I want to pull from the Romance Angels to see what other guidance we can get. Um, and maybe I'll pull another oracle card. I'm not sure. One last shuffle here. Um, now, we're just going to let this be the closing message for today, yeah? <laughs> At the bottom of the deck you have, this could be the one. You also have, pay attention to the red flags, trust, Soulmate and chemistry. Pay attention to the red flags is really not saying anything that bad. What I really get from pay attention to the red flags right now is pay attention to what you're truly feeling, what you're truly sensing about the situation. Some of the red flags may be your own red flags for yourself. I'm not really getting that this person is exhibiting any sort of red flags right now. But honestly, what this really feels like it's saying here, you guys, is you have to, okay, you have, you have to be patient, sure, but you have to honor yourselves. You have to honor your intuition. Trust, 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 trust. Because this person, I mean, there's chemistry between the two of you. You guys are soulmates. This really could be the one. Keep an open mind. Free yourself very soon. Some of you might be in separation right now, but I feel like that's going to end very soon. Keep an open mind, you guys. Okay? I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow morning. I don't know. Whatever. I love you. Mwah! Bye.